Have you ever feel like there's just not enough time in the day to manage your online store? Well, you are not alone. Running a CS card marketplace store can be tough and you are always on the move. But fear not, we have the perfect solution to make your life easier. Introducing the CS card vendor app from Webcool. Hi, my name is Webhub and in this video, we'll see how this app empowers the vendors to manage their store operations seamlessly, all from the convenience of their mobile device. So now let's quickly check the CS card vendor app but before that please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to stay updated with the latest content. Apart from this I would like to mention that if you need extensions for increasing the sales of your e-commerce store then you can visit store.webcool.com and explore a number of products for every technology. We also have the user guide for the same in our blog sections from where you can check the features and configuration and get to know the functionality of the extensions as well. Now let's move back to our video. So in this video, we'll be using an iOS device to demonstrate the app. You can install the app from the app store or if you're an Android user, then you can directly install the app from the play store. So by clicking on the app icon, we'll be able to enter the app. So firstly, we'll be able to see the splash screen, which will navigate to the login screen. By entering the email and password, we'll click on sign in. So this will navigate to the product page. So we will be able to see the sort by and the filter option on the top by the help of which we can, we'll be able to sort the products by the newest first or by the date. And also from the filter option, we can set the price range. So now, on clicking on the left corner, we'll be able to see the navigation panel and from here we will be able to add products, edit the vendor profile and the vendor's administration and the settings. We'll be going through them one by one. Firstly, we'll click on the add products which will navigate to the new product page and from here in the general section, we'll be able to add the information like name, category, price, description. Set the status of the product as active, hidden, disabled or in review. Next up we have the pricing inventory. From here we can set the code, list price, in stock, minimum order quantity, maximum order quantity, quantity step and then the quantity. Next we have the image section and from here we can add a new image from the gallery or the camera. Next up we have the quantity discount from where we can set the quantity value and set the product uh, quantity as absolute or in percentage by clicking on save it will save the product data next up in the navigation panel we have the vendor profile so by clicking on the vendor profile it will navigate to the general section of it from where we will be able to see the vendor name language and the status as active or disabled Next up we have the contact information of the vendor which will show the email, telephone number, its URL, its fax number and next we have, we have the shipping address. In the shipping address we will be able to see the city, country, state and the zip. Next we have the description section of the vendor profile from where we can see the description of the admin, uh, vendor store. Next up we have the logo, from here we'll, the vendor can set the logo for the customer area and for the invoices. Next we have the terms and conditions from where the vendor can set the terms and conditions for the store. Now navigating back to the navigation panel. So next up we have the vendor's administration. In the vendor's administration. The vendors can edit the user account information by clicking on this pencil icon. From here, the, under the user account information, the vendor can see the email address, password, confirm password and the language of the vendor's administration. Next up, we have the billing address where we will be able to see the first name, last name, telephone, street address, country, state, city, zip. Also, we can check our shipping and the billing address the same. Now back to the 
navigation panel we have the settings so now from here the vendor can enable or disable the notifications which will navigate to the in device settings coming back to the settings of the app from here the vendor can also enable or disable the dark mode and lastly in the navigation panel we have the option to log out from the app and there you have it the cs card vendor app from webcool transforming the way vendors can manage their marketplace store if you have any questions feel free to contact us at support at the rate of webcool.com or raise a ticket at webcool.uvdesk.com well that's all for now thanks for watching and stay tuned